It's time for evolution. Welcome to the Ghana Art Family. And so in today's video, I'm going to be showing and showing you guys and explaining to you guys how panel frequency works. Now, what panel frequency is is when is is for for example, uh, you have calm panels, and then you have dynamic panels when it comes to action. I'm going to show you guys calm panels. I mean, dynamic panels later on in this video. But right, what you're seeing right now. I have a list of five pages here and this front page is it has calm panels basically calm panels being showcased here you know nothing there's no slants going on uh, it's very calm it's an introduction scene so it should be calm well it depends it depends but for this for this case this is a calm introduction scene you know so right here this is where the sky is you don't see the sky here because i'm going to uh color it color it in uh i'm going to draw it in digitally um this is the the forest so it goes to the sky the next panel goes to the forest and then we're introduced with the main character or this character right here and this is this is a, an important introduction so i made sure to bleed the page out so that it stands out from the rest of the panels make sure that okay this is important to, just to give the reader a, a subconscious some conscious uh, uh, telling that okay this character is important you know so we go so we come here and then we come over here and I also bleed this page because there's action going on here you know is it's not it's not extreme action it, it's more like a it's more like a it's not serious, so to say. If it were if it were super serious, that's when I'll start to like stand the pounds. But it's still action, so I'm like just bleeding it out. You know, it's not it's not too serious. You know, and at the same time, it's not it's not too calm, but it's still calm. You know, if that if that makes sense, it's, it's not too serious. But now we're gonna get to like when I start to make increase the the, the panel dynamic. Okay. So this is the next page. Now this is when the panel dynamic starts to increase. Okay, so this is when the panel dynamic starts to increase. I'm slanting these things now. I'm slanting the panels now. Slant, slant. Everything is is getting slanted because it, now it's more serious. You know, it's it's a lot more serious compared to something like this. This is more more of a serious action compared to this, which is not as much of a serious action. But I'm still bleeding it because action is being ta is taking place here. Action is taking place here. But right here, this is like a more serious action. Okay, so the bear is now now he's go he, he's facing this confrontation with the bear, right? The character is facing a confrontation with the bear. You can see how the the, the paneling and the layouts are like very chaotic in a sense, you know. And I'm also intentionally making the reader's eye flow well with the panels because, for example, right here, uh, when it, when when you're reading it, it's going to be read from uh, from left to right, okay, left to right, this and then that and then this and then that and then this. Okay, so you know, as people are, are reading it, or you know, there's not as much dialogue going on here, but as people are like watching it or viewing it, it's going to be easier to, for the eye because you know, right here, you can see how, like, uh, for example, say, say you say you read this, say you've read this, or just looked at this, right, and then you see this, right, this angle going right here, it's pointing right here, it's it's telling it's kind of telling the reader subconsciously that hey this is a good idea to like uh, to read going from from here you know because this is being read from left to right so start from the right because you, you read this now now that we see this line is now indicating it subconsciously to the reader that you know now it's time to read read from here then you read from here and then you read from here this, you know, some some people aren't really, some readers aren't consciously picking this up, but it, it makes it much more easier for readers to 
understand and judge you know understand and digest what's going on easily and make it make it more comfortable for them to read whatever you're doing with ease you know all right so these are the chaotic these are like chaotic panels right and again this is this this is more chaotic panels you know it's still still very chaotic I'm, I'm making sure it's easier for viewers to like to to read on to the next to the next one so right here and then as you can see as you can see there's chaotic panels up here and now I'm slowly transitioning to calm I'm slowly transitioning to something calm right here right so there's chaotic panels here and now right here you can see that uh, although this this panel right here is slanted a little bit this panel is slanted and this one is like more straight it's calm it's chill this is more straight this is coming from this panel over here so now I'm now I'm transitioning you know I'm transitioning into something more calm all right so this is calm and now it's starting to not get so serious now as you can see it's not getting serious anymore um there's still action going on that's why i bled the i bled the page uh, i have a tutorial on understanding uh understanding deleted paper and how to how to uh, manage it how to understand it so that you have an understanding on what p page bleeding is so this is when I, I i bled i bled the page because you know it's, it's minor action going on here so you know it's not too serious now because now i'm now i'm calming it out you know i'm calming it out so this is this is serious this is this is this is not serious this is, this is calm but because it's action, I'm still bleeding the, the panel out. It's it's kind of like it's kind of like this. It's, it's not too serious and at the same time not too calm. It's it's, it's right there in, in the middle of calm and serious, if that makes sense. But it's similar to this how I did that. You know, it, these are calm. And now well. When we're going to hold up, hold on. Let me. And then there, there's this. Um, these are like little, little uh, time skip transitions, I guess you can say. So uh, the bear slams on uh, into the boy's body, uh, on the back of the boy's body, and these are uh, time, time, time skip transitions. And then you see the the love, uh, the love symbol of the bear and the bear licking the boy etc and then as we move on to the next page uh, we have here the boys is saying something right here and the boy is also he notices something right so it's, it's zoomed in it's zoomed in it's zoomed in on his face and I also it's very it's a very calming scene right so I zoomed in on his face but at the same time something something important is happening you know so now the edges are now I'm bleeding the edges because he notices something and he's and some uh, someone is calling him something someone important is calling him, right an important character and then right here we have a character introduction some character introduction don't need to always be in a calm setting, but she's she's going to be introduced like that. And then right here she comes in in with a, a crowd of bears and then she, she screams about the bears surrounding her and then the bear roars at her fear, reacting to her. Uh, and so the panels here are showcased as chaotic. Uh, there, there's, there are slants, there are twists and turns. However, not all the panels are are truly uh, bleeding out. And from my perspective, 
what I like to think is that I'm the observer, you know, I know what's going on, you know, me, me being the creator, I know what's going on, I know what's, what's, what's on everyone's mind. From her perspective, it may be a very serious and life-threatening situation, which is why I have these, uh, these slants all around. But from my perspective, I know it's not that serious and everything will be all right. So I'm not letting them go out the edges, okay? But whenever something serious happens or something life-changing happens or, or a life-changing dynamic happens, I tend to, you know, go bleed out the panels, so to say, and do some chaotic, chaoticness. And so I think of this as a spectrum of calm to dynamic. You know, rather something is uh, 50% or 20% going all the way to 100%, depending on the percentage is when I would increase the, the friction of how chaotic the panels will be. And so this is what I've noticed and this is the way I think about it. And so that will be the video. I hope this helped you get a, a better understanding on, on the panel frequency or just controlling or just understanding uh, dynamic panels and calm panels and, and, and implementing it into your work. So yeah, that'll be the video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like so that more people can see the video and subscribe and hit the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And that will be all. Peace.